Hello friends, welcome to online Moody YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see about the order order section, like how we can take an order from new customer and assign it to a Kariga. Uh, so we'll also going to see all the Kariga regarding transaction, how we can issue and purchase from Kariga. So let's start with the video. So as I have, you can see, I have opened the dashboard of the software. So this is the whole dashboard, like from basic to advanced, each and every panels will get it there. So in today's video, as we are going to see regarding order the section. So here you can see the order panels. Even. If I go on to my order section, so from here I can directly add my new, new customer and add the order as an option given for order. I can directly add a new order for here for that particular customer. So before that, I want to see that whether we have added a carrier or not. So to add a Kariga, here is an option given for add user. If I go on to my add user, option is given for add supplier. From this add supplier, here you can add your Kariga. Instead of retail, you, 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 you need to select your Kariga section. If I select a Kariga, all the information regarding the Kariga, like if you want to maintain the KYC and all, here you can maintain and add your Kariga. So after that, if I go on to my user list, here you will get your customer list, supplier list and Kariga list as well. So whatever carriers you have added, your carriers gets displayed here. So in similar ways, you can add your carriers from here. So now we will add an order. So I will go to my order panel now. Let's say I want to add an order for a new particular customer. So I am adding a new customer now. If you want to maintain the KYC, you can maintain the KYC here. Or else I will directly go on to my order section. As I click on order, my order panel gets opened here. So this is the my, this is my order panel. So whatever products regarding order that customer is giving you, all the information regarding that product you need to enter it here. Let's say I want to, that customer is giving me order for Mangal Sutra. So I will enter all the information regarding that Mangal Sutra here. Uh, what is the uh, name product name? You can mention your product ID and all also. Next I will enter the quantity of the product. Next, how many gross weight of the product you want to make for? Like, let's say you want to make a product of 10 grams. I'll enter 10 grams. Sir. If you want to less any kind of weight, you can mention the less weight here. Or else directly enter my purity. How many purity of the product is? If you want to charge any kind of wastage, you can charge your wastage here. Same way, there is an option given for value added. Like customer wastage and all, if you want to charge, that you can charge into your value added section. Same as if I go uh, for France, uh, there is a sell rate given. If you want to set a fixed sell rate for this particular product, you can also set. Let's say I want to set a, a fixed sell rate of 59,000. Next is labor charge, making charges option is given. How many making charges you want to charge, you can charge it for me. I am charging it as 1000 rupees per piece. If uh, there is also option given like labor charges, other charges and all, size, length, shape, color, if you want to mention, that also you can mention. If you want to add a design of the product, that also you can do it. You can upload it from your system or webcam option is given, that also you can click it from. This is the grand total now, 57,230, that, that is the valuation of this product. What I will do is, I will simply click on add order. As I click on add order, my product panel, pay payment panel gets opened below. So this is the total amount 57,230 of the product. If that customer is giving you any kind of advance that you can, that also you can take it. Four modes are given cash, bank, card and online. By whichever more customer is paying to the amount, you can put it into that mode. Let's say that customer is giving me 5,000 amount in advance. I am taking 5,000 by cash and if I come below, I will just click on submit. So my order gets completely added into my new order list. So this is my order recording session. So here you also you will get an order voucher that you can provide it to your customer. So this uh, you can show this to them with image and all. And also the if they have given any kind of advances, that advance also gets shown. Okay. So now what I will do is I will assign this order to my carrier. So in here only you will get an option for assign user. Here you can see. So from this assign user option, whatever suppliers and carriers you have added, that gets shown here. So to which kind, which carrier you want to assign this work to, you can select a carrier from here. I'll just create, uh, select the carrier's name from here. And if I click on OK, my carrier gets selected. Now what I'll do is I'll click on this arrow panel. So as I click on this arrow, so my complete order gets transferred to my carrier. So here you can see my order has been uh, transferred to my carrier's panel. Now. So my carrier's panel is opened here. So in status, what I need to do is I'll just click on ready to assign. So my order gets completely assigned to the carrier. And if you come down, sir, there's an option given for assign and allocate metal. If you want to assign any kind of raw metal to the carrier to make for making of this order, that also you can do. So yeah, let's say I'm uh, assigning 
10 grams of raw metal to this carrier, which is of 100 purity. I'll just click on submit now. I'm assigning 10 grams and I'll just click on submit. As I click on submit, in same ways a payment panel gets opened. So what transaction we are going to do is we are going to uh, we have assigned the metal also and uh, in in behalf of that metal we are taking the uh, product whatever the product we are given for the order that we are going to take it from them. So what the what the transaction will be doing is completely metal to metal transaction. There, so for that there are three options given here. No rate cut, rate cut and cash. If you are doing whole transaction metal to metal, so what you will do is, you will do no rate cut here. Next second option is rate cut even, like if you are doing the partial transaction, half transaction is done in metal and half transaction is done in cash. So in that case, you can do rate cut. So I am going to do no rate cut here. So as I click on no rate cut, so, so you can see you have assigned a 10 grams of raw metal here and whole, whole of my transaction gets nil. So I will just click on serve. So by clicking on submit, your metal also gets allocated and your order also gets completely assigned to the carrier. So this is my order has gone into my progress list now. So whatever uh, uh, order you have assigned that this product, uh, this order, whenever you are taking returning from him, you can come on to the order in progress list. And in same way, here is an option given for return. So directly from here, you can take a return of this product now. So what I'll do is I'm taking a returning, uh, returning this order from uh, carrier. So I'll just click on return here. As I click on return, I will click on your OK and click on arrow here. So this product I have sent into my ready to return list. So I'll, what I'll do is here, I'll click on ready to return. So as I click on ready to return, automatically all the information that pro regarding that product gets fetched. Now at this point, sometimes happens like the product where it gets uh, uh, changes there is a there are changes in product width so if you are there are, there are any kind of changes in product width that also you can make it if your uh, labor has if your carrier has charged you any kind of labor charges and all that also you can charge it and or else I'll directly click on submit as I click on submit my payment panel gets open now what I am going to do is whatever metal we have assigned to that carrier so from that only we are going to do the transaction. So here you can see in metal details previous, here you can see whatever metal we have assigned to that carrier gets shown here. So from this metal only I want to do the uh, settlement. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just click on tick here and click on no rate cut. So if you come down here you can see that previous whatever metal we have assigned to that carrier was 10 grams. We are purchasing from him is 9.215 grams and my balance will remain with the carrier is 0 0.785 grams. So this is the balance now remaining with my carrier. And as I click come down, here you can see there is an amount given for 9.22. If you have charged any kind of labor charges and all that get shown into the cash only. So that you uh, need to pay to the carrier in cash itself. I'll enter it into my cash amount and if I come down, so I'll click on submit. So as I click my uh, click on submit, my com order is completed now. My order has been get written into my stock list now. I have taken completely. Uh, uh, I have taken written my order from Carrier now. And if I go on to my order list, order list here you will can see all kind of lists. New order list. How many are your pending order list? Whatever uh, what what products are into your new or ready order order list and what what products are into your delivered order list. Okay, and same product if I go on to my report section, on my report section also my product has been added. So whatever product you have taken written from that carrier, your product gets added into your stock reports. If you go into a report section, if you uh, uh, search it by same product code, your pro uh, with the same product code, your product will get filtered here. This was the product, MNG6. It is added into the product code MNG6. We will go into this. See, 9.5 grams of product that we have purchased. So this is a business added into a product list. And whatever product have been added automatically, you will get a bar barcode generated for that. If I go on to my tax session and on the tail label, the gear is a barcode generated for it. So in the same way, you can uh, create an order for this. And let's say God, I want to do a uh, payment for this uh, product now. If I go on to the user list section on that particular customer, I'll go to the order section onto the ready order list so and so this product gets automatically added into the ready order list of this particular customer also if i want to directly make a bill of this i will click on make bill now okay 
uh, so all the information regarding that product gets shown here if you want wish to maintain uh, make changes in any kind of rates and all that also you can do it from here and i'll just click on submit if I click on submit, in same way my payment panel will get opened now. If your customers have given you any kind of advances, here you can see in cash balances, your advance will get shown. I'll just make a settlement from this advance. I'll just click on, uh, tick on this amount. Uh, here you can see automatically in the previous amount, my 5000 has been added. So final cash balance I want to take from the customer is 49369. There are four methods given cash, bank, card and online. Whatever by whatever whichever more customer is paying to you can put it into that mode. Let's say I'm taking by four nine three what whole amount I'm taking by cash. And if I come down, if I click on submit, my complete order gets uh, transaction gets completed and here you will immediately get an invoice. So this is an invo order invoice. Yeah, in this invoice also, what what features you want to show, what what features you, or you want to hide will completely depend upon it. So this was all you are regarding order transactions. Uh, uh, in this way, you can take a new order from your customer and assign it to your card. So if the video was understandable, so do hit a like and also subscribe our YouTube channel for more such videos. Thank you.